Welcome back everybody, today we are looking at straight people just, just being idiots. To be completely honest, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, they're letting the team down. But yeah, we're, <laughs> we're just going to look at some people who have some really bad takes, let's go. If I can't assault you, then I'm not going to help you. Wait fell on a lady today at the gym, I almost rushed to help her until I remember that we need consent. So I left her, I don't want trouble. <laughs> and then someone just quoted this tweet saying, Dudes really be like, since I can't sexually harass women anymore, I'll just let them die. How dense can you be? That would be like me finding a woman in a car accident, and then when the you know someone asked me why did I let her die, I'd be like, well, she was unconscious and didn't give me consent to pull her out. Another way to look at it would be if I was like drowning and a girl had to give me mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, and I just briefly came back to life and was like, hey yo, I've got a girlfriend, can you not? And I just go back to dying. Girls, I know you need pads, tampons, and toothbrushes, or whatever, but can you put that in a separate store so us bros don't have to see them? Oh yeah, a guy's biggest fear when walking into a shop is a tampon and toothbrushes, apparently. Like, it's obviously just such a revolting sight to see those things. Like, what does this dude want women to do? Go to a secret room, down a ladder through seven security doors? and say the secret password of I am a woman to buy some hygiene products? Why doesn't this guy have the same issue with something like toilet paper, which is used to wipe up literal poo? And, and why, are to why are toothbrushes considered disgusting? If he thinks walking around with a mouth that you can still taste last week's dinner, then you need to get your priorities straight. I don't want to come across like this dude who's like, oh yeah, women good, men bad, but at the same time, who cares? If it doesn't concern you, why do you care? This is full of the worst advice I've ever read. Why men stray, why men stay. What every woman needs to know about making the commitment list. What even is this book meant to be? Foods that are not sexy, okay? Carbonated water, pigs in blankets, fast food, onions, garlic, or any pugnant spice, Anything that gets stuck in your teeth. Corn dogs. I mean, I'm not being funny, but how, what, what is wrong with carbonated water? Who, who, who drinks water in a seductive way that then labels carbonated water as not, <laughs> not? <laughs> Aerosol cheese. What? Tofu. They've got beans on here. Mayonnaise. <laughs> There's just like a little quote down here. I live by a man's code designed to fit a man's world. Yet at the same time, I never forget that a woman's first job is to choose the right shade of lipstick. What the hell does that even mean? I'm not being funny, but how, what, what is wrong with carbonated water? Who, who, who drinks water in a seductive way that then labels carbonated water as not, <laughs> not? <laughs> I'm still just baffled that carbonated water is is not considered sexy, apparently. Babe, come to bed. Oh, one second, honey. Let me just drink my carbonated water. Oh my god, what a turn off. Thought of this sub as soon as I saw it. Being a single guy over 30, okay, so you've got, you know, the stepdad option. You can be single forever or just fat girls. Whenever I see this meme, I always think to myself, but what do you bring to the relationship? You look like a foot. You look like the discarded potato which nobody wants at a roast dinner. You have a terrible outlook on life and what you think a relationship should be. You smell so bad that if someone said there was another pandemic, I would honestly think that you caused it. Got a little bit carried away there, but I just know too many people that think they're just better than everybody else and that they don't need to put anything into a relationship. Get in the bin. The male urge to push down every cute female you see and make out with her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, the male urge, that's just what every guy wants to do. It's just the male urge. I could just be having a nice meal and then I just see a girl and I just have to run up, push her over and begin to eat her face. Who even thinks like this? Who makes this and thinks, oh yeah, this is relatable. <laughs> every guy wants to do this. <laughs> Idiot. Hung like a six-year-old. Whenever I see something like this, I'm always like, why would you want this to be worn by your kid? Do you not think it is really weird? I don't even want to make jokes like this, like hung like a six-year-old. It's just really, I don't, I don't even want to make a joke, it's weird. 
My girlfriend called me gay and broke up with me because I used many skincare products as a man. Need advice. I can give you advice right now. Dump that bitch. Who cares if you use skincare? What? And the post reads as, well, I'm stunned. My girlfriend broke up with me because apparently I would have broken up with her in the future when I found another man. Yo. <laughs> what? When I asked her why she even thought that, she said I was obviously gay because I used too many skincare products. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, skincare products means you're gay. If you are a man and you use anything to take care of yourself so you don't look like Shrek, you are obviously gay, apparently. That almost sounds as stupid as if a guy broke up with a girl because instead of her wearing skirts, she wore trousers. Yeah, shut up, get in the bin. Just no. Sad, mad, happy, hungry, and she's always right, no matter what. The scariest things on Earth. The dark, okay. Clowns, whatever. Sharks, yep, serial killers. They don't really exist anymore in, like, modern countries. Death, okay. Women on periods. Oh, God, the, the horror. Oh, yeah, this is just honestly so true that, honestly, when I look to buy a house in the future, I I'm gonna need a panic room in that place because I don't think I can survive my absolute phobia of women on periods. I'll just have to be in there for a couple of days each month. Just leaving this here, am I the a-hole for mocking my wife for buying Gillette for men? My wife went to the store to get some hygiene products the other day. She came home and while she was showing me what she bought, she pulled out a pack of Gillette razors for men. You know, the blue ones. <laughs> the blue ones, guys, you idiots. Jesus. I was baffled when I first saw it, then I looked at her and said, Really? She looked at me confused, then pointed out that it was for men. She made a face and said, So what? Store ran out of the feminine ones, so I figured this one will do just fine. I couldn't help but laugh, which made her angry, and say that there was not a huge difference. But I told her that there was be that was because, obviously, the men version of this Gillette razor pack is only suitable for men's skin not sensitive skin like hers. I mean, yeah, I guess there is like a difference between men and women's skin, but you're not exactly like some iron hide monster over here whose skin is as tough as nails. She got offended and called me unbearable to even comment on this non-issue, let alone mock her. If you guys haven't seen how bad women's razors are, they are terrible. They look like something that was made in prison out of like a discarded toothbrush and a rock. I don't think I was mocking her, more just pointing out the obvious, but she took it personally and yelled at me, then grabbed the stuff and went upstairs. She's still upset about it till now, probably even expecting me to come forward with an apology, but I really think she overreacted. What do you think? I never really understand why people would get so frustrated at someone else for buying something which might be like, oh, for men or for women. It's just something that is just a marketing ploy to get people to buy more stuff. Why are you personally defending something which you shouldn't? Why do you care? Like I said, women's razors are the most scrappy, thrown together pieces of trash ever. If I was a woman, I would probably buy a men's razor because women's razors just suck. It's like women's trousers or jeans. They have like the tiniest pockets. They can't hold anything. You could, you could barely stick your finger in it. It is just absolute trash clothing. Oh man, these posts have tickled me. But that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me out. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all next time.